Hey, how's it going team? Eddie Gray here. Welcome back to the channel. If you've been following, you know that we're setting up the new Mac Studio. And I'm basically asking the question, which plugins are compatible? Which ones are working? I use a service called Gobbler and I subscribe to the SSL native plugins. They're some of my favorite in the industry. They were all working just fine. And the SSL native channel strip up until right now wasn't working at all. So I wanna show you if this isn't working, if it's not validating for whatever reason, come with me. This is what we're gonna do right now. So go ahead and take a look at this article. It's on the SSL website. And we're gonna go ahead and update Rosetta. Basically wanna go to the go to folder, hit shift command G. That takes you here. You wanna copy and paste this data. So I'll just hit command V. Then I'll hit return. All right, you'll update Rosetta. And this is with the understanding that you've already downloaded the SSL package and you've got all that loaded, okay? So it's still not updating for whatever reason on your system. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is go into your applications folder. And of course, logic will be closed. And I want you to hit Command I, and then I want you to open logic pro using rosetta once you go in here you can go ahead and successfully validate this and then now let me go ahead and hit command q we will reset logic pro so that it opens in its default state and that's pretty much it that is what got me across now this is going to be a bit of a transition just overall and so just be aware that there are going to be hiccups. I think the goal right now is to try and find solutions. You want to make sure that you have at least three EQs, at least three compressors. Should something go haywire, then you'll at least be ready to handle every case, right? And so here it is right here. I'll go ahead and start moving the UC1. All right, so we are good to go. So let's talk about Rosetta before we get out of here. Uh, this is a, a good technique to use uh, if you kind of need to clear that bridge. So installing Rosetta, again, it's going to basically come to you at some point, so don't worry about that. But it says here, Rosetta is not an app that you need to open. Rosetta works automatically in the background whenever you use an app built only for Mac computers with an Intel processor. Of course, these new M1s are built with the proprietary Apple Silicon chip. In most cases, you won't notice any difference in the performance of an app that needs Rosetta. But you should contact the app developer to inquire about a version that can use the full power and performance of Apple Silicon natively. This is a massive transition. I don't know how long it's going to take, but I'm not expecting things to change soon. What I'm going to do in response to this is just try and simplify my workflow. You don't want to stop. You don't want to let this technological stuff hamper what it is you're trying to accomplish on a musical level on a creative level you want to make sure that that it simply serves and it opens up the pathway for you to be able to move forward so one thing to clear up uh, uh, about how this all works it says which of your apps need rosetta so essentially you're either going to have applications that use intel or universal if i go back into the application folder and I type in logic and I hit command I, you can see at the very top that this is a universal app. And so the definition of that is, it means the app supports both Apple Silicon and Intel processors and uses Apple Silicon by default. Okay, so that's how that works. I'm still figuring it out. I'm sure there's some details that you guys can show me. So that's gonna do it for me. SSL, I can confirm is working well. I've already played with the bus processor, the saturator, everything is on the up and up. You need to make sure that you run through this entire process with the channel strip. I'm not sure what is the difference. Is it a hardware thing? Perhaps, but you're going to have to take that up with SSL themselves. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, next video will be covering Eventide. We're going to cover fab filter which i know is m1 compatible but i want to just make sure that i uncover any and all steps that i see because of course greatness leaves clues behind and i want to make sure that you guys are good if you are on this journey with me so stay up stay happy stay focused on what you want and of course i'll catch you on the next one